You know, I feel sad seeing this. Stephanie uh, Vio was 19 at the time. Uh, this is me. A steward new to the Navy, serving on HMCS provider in 1991. So that's the uh, combat department. So Back then, Hayden Edmondson was the third highest ranking officer on the ship. Vio says that November, Edmondson sexually assaulted her, but she says she was too afraid to report it. I figured I would be strong enough to move on, but I know now 30 years afterwards that it never, it never leaves you. Vio says the inappropriate behavior escalated during an exercise at sea, one of her duties to wake up officers, including Edmondson, for their night shifts. He started showing uh, parts of his body and it progressed over time and it lasted, you know, many nights. The last time that he's done that, uh, I went to wake him up and he was on his back uh, completely naked and he was waiting for me. I yelled, I can't take this any longer. Vio says when the ship docked in Hawaii, Edmondson asked to speak to her in his cabin. Vio says she was expecting an apology. He wouldn't let me go. I can't say that it was a, a violent situation, but he sort of pushed me to the to the um, to the wall, and uh, he started undressing me, and uh, he removed all my clothes, and then he turned me around and he raped me. There's no other way to say it. Another person on board who asked to conceal her identity confirmed to CBC News that Vio went missing at the time of the alleged assault. But I do remember going back to look for her and I remember calling her name. I went to respond back to her calling and he just put his hand on my mouth and he's, he said, I just froze. My body just froze. I, I didn't know what to do. I was terrified. Vio says fears about career reprisals kept her silent. The culture was accepting this behavior. We were sort of told that, well, this is the man's world. This is, our, this is how it is. Suck it up. Vio later left the military. She says she's telling her story now in an effort to heal and is calling for an independent investigation into the vice admiral. I want justice for me, but I also want justice for others. So, Ashley, what is Edmondson's response to these allegations? Adrian, Vice Admiral Edmondson denies the allegations. In a statement sent to CBC News, he said, I categorically deny that I have ever had non-consensual sex with anyone ever. He also said he was not provided sufficient details of the allegations or time to respond in detail. CBC News did provide Edmondson with an extensive list of claims yesterday. He's on leave with pay indefinitely, and the Department of National Defense says the military is troubled by the allegations. The case has been referred to military police. All right, Ashley Burke in Ottawa tonight. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you.